What's going on everybody? Dar Sizzle and Puddin coming at you from deep in the ocean today. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, we're a Florida fishing couple and we show you how we catch fish. Yeah, we go on real life adventures and today we're out of Hillsboro and we're trolling and uh, I think we're gonna catch a mahi very soon <laughs> with our good friend Crazy Craig on his boat Miss America. What kind of boat is this? A Grady White? It's a Grady White 257. Ah, Grady White 257? Yeah. Uh, we have to really enjoy the boat. We've had the great luck on it before, and so hopefully today it'll be a repeat. Yes, literally, I'm just gonna captain his boat all day long. So we got lines out, line, beautiful morning, and we're just waiting to catch that first fish. Let's go. You get it, Brian. Or you want me to get it? No, go ahead. What, Brian? All right, fish on. We're literally just right in front of the inlet. Gotta slow down some more. And we're hooked up on that first fish. Took a nice run. Yeah. We're gonna see what happens. Oh, nice jump back there. Looks like the mahi. Which one is that? The Isla Marata flyer? This is, I think so. Yes. All right, guys, we have an east wind out here, which is our favorite for trolling and pelagic fishing because it pushes everything close to shore. And it's been blowing like that all night. Oh, he's all tacked. Some ate him. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Never seen such a thing. Whoa. He's got marks all over him. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's an old scar, guys. That's crazy. I just saw that when I got that fish. He's all tore up. It just shows you how, you know, how fish are so resilient. Looks like something attacked him growing up. He's way healed over time, but that looks like a shark bite or something big. Marlin ate, tried to eat him. We got our first fish in the boat. High five. High nice. five. All Miss right, America. Crazy Craig. I have a crazy Bro Craig today on a Miss America. Woo! All right, guys, there's our gorgeous gaffer Mahi. Look, all lit up. Just crazy with those old scars. Look at that thing, totally healed. I mean, you can see the gaff shot, but right above that, that's not my mark. Yeah, definitely a marlin or something. Was eating, trying to eat him at some point in his life. All right, guys, we are hooked up again. 600 feet of water, we decided to move on out. Go ahead and slow me down a tad. All right, turn the clicker off. We were fishing shallow. When I say shallow, that's like 100 or 300 foot of water, very close to land. And we decided to move on out. We didn't get any more bites after catching that beautiful mahi. We've been trolling now for about a couple hours, but we're hooked up again in 600 foot of water, which is right on the continental shelf, where it drops off and where fish migrate. He's real close. You wanna them? To being a keeper or not a keeper in the boat, so Brian's gonna flip him. Nice job, that's a keeper. Heck yeah! Fish tacos, fish tacos, all the fish look exactly the same on the fork. 21 to the fork, keeper fish, beautiful. Little guys are so pretty. All right, yes. got another one on. We didn't even know. Slow down, Brian? Yeah, slow down dead now anyway. Yeah, he's been on there. I saw that thing dragging. Yeah. Woo! That's a keeper. Oh, it's close. Real close. That's close. I would throw him back. <laughs> Woo! Another mahi on. All right, what do you want to do? You got it? I got it. My okay. turn. Okay. Two on. Double up. Double up. Get him, Craig. Oh, that's a nice one, Craig. Nice fish. Are these both gonna be keepers? All right, we've doubled up on Mahi Mahi, guys. I'm at the wheel. But you can see Craig's reeling in one, Brian's reeling in one. It looks like they're gonna be close to keepers. Looks like flippers. Flippers, yeah, for sure. Don't mess it up, Kook. Woo! He's gonna be a throwback. Look at his beautiful <laughs> tail. Look at his tail. Very colorful. Look at the epic tail. Holy smokes. That's gorgeous. Come get mine, Sizzle. All right. Oh, he's over the line. It's okay. You didn't come no, here. you're fine. You're all right. He's not going to keep. No? No. No, he's tiny. All right, we're going to let these little guys go immediately. He's off. Bye, little dude. All right, we're catching a lot of mahi. That's a really good sign. We just got to basically pick through the smaller ones to find some keepers. And they're definitely out there this time of the year. Big fish are being caught right now, migrating through. All right, everybody. Planter just trip. Is there fish on there? I don't know. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down. All right, all right. It's okay, it's okay. He's on. Leave him on. Let, let him. That's perfect. Let him stay there. There, fish on. Big dolphin, big dolphin. Big dolphin. Big dolphin. 
Keep that boat in gear. This boat's fish is jumping everywhere. Taking the planer off. We got bumpy seas out here, guys. We're working the best we can as a team, but it's tough when you're double hooked up. There he is, skirting on the surface. Nice job, Brian. Good job. Nice fish. Next, you're up next. Woo! You get him, Craig. Get him. That's your fish. Go. Yeah, the other planer, I think we might have a fish on. I got it. You got a fish over there, Sizzle? I think it's a fish. I'm not sure, but I, I watched it trip and I sent it back. What, does she have a fish or no? I don't know. No, I don't. All right. Measure them up. Doubled up, doubled up, guys. Hold on. Hey, the language. I'm talking to the fish. <laughs> He's actually, Craig is actually like one of the only army guys that doesn't know that doesn't really curse too often. <laughs> <laughs> My cousins and stuff curse like every other word, but that's okay. That's what happens when you're part of the army. But look at that beautiful fish. Doubled up on fish. We had triple header actually, two bites on the planer. But two out of three, not too shabby, guys. We are just loading up the boat. We're gonna feed the entire neighborhood. Craig's neighborhood, our neighborhood, just loading it up. I think it's five per person, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. We only got five so far. One. one, two. Oh yeah, because we released a bunch. Three, four. We got four. Not too shabby. That's a great mahi fishing day so far. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Nice helper over here. He is the man. Woo, all right, I gotta get the lines out. I thought you were gonna say, woo, I gotta get the lines out. They reel them in and I do all the work. You reeled in, fish. Yeah. The battery, that's okay. I didn't get to film on this because it died. See, that's our problem with YouTube Life, guys, is these batteries. You gotta keep up with them. I totally missed flipping those fish in. All right, guys, we got a fish on the planer. Woo. All baits are getting eaten today. Go. Oh, fish on the back line. Fish in on the, the back middle, line. In the middle. Go along, line. Whoa, watch, get, watch, get easy, Craig. Watch easy, watch easy Craig. <laughs> get him, Craig. Nice one. Jumping. Woo! Doubled up. Brian taking off the planer. So you can see that you just have to have baits on the surface and down below because you don't know what they want. But it seems like the mahi today want to eat everything. Woo! It's going nice. to be close to a keeper. Nice work, high five. Nice. Crushing Mahi today. All right, measure them up, see if you can get rid of them. Mahi Friday. Break down them too. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna throw them back. Okay, slow down, we gotta slow down. Just pop it off. No. Nice fish jumping. All right, we got a fish. Woo! All right, maybe slow down a little. Pink and white That's an old strip too. Uh, old strip? Yeah. A little right. bait, he also got, well, yeah, oh, look got how double gorgeous hooked. he is. Double hook there. Yeah, that's what happened that port. Look at how white he is. Look at the colors. Gorgeous. Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. I love that. Yeah, he got like double hooked and a double hook. <laughs> nice job. We swim away. All right, guys, back at the house. Got a bunch of mites today. That was awesome. Yeah, super awesome. Super awesome that like Craig was, let, lets us run his boat. Yeah, you know, that, that old saying, the best the best boat to have is your friend's boat, is, is so, <laughs> couldn't be any drawer. Yes. You know, we had a long day fishing yesterday, and then we wanted to go fishing today, but you know, it's a lot of work, so it was just nice to go on his boat, and so thanks, Craig. Yes, that's, that's... and then, like, Craig went home and cleaned up his boat and everything, like, we didn't have to do that, like, even though we're used to doing that every single day, it was just, like, nicer. I would help you, Craig, if I was there, but I wasn't, so. I'm glad I wasn't there, Craig, and I took a nap. <laughs> he did take a nap. <laughs> all right, and literally, Craig gave us, like, all the fish, except he kept one. So yeah. let's play him up. Let's yeah. do it. And Craig, Craig is a retired army vet, so uh, we support our. Thank you for your service, Craig, and that's it was really great to get a fish with him. Yes, we're gonna play up that weird mahi with all those crazy scars on him. Probably a marlin, because marlin, like a big, you know, yeah. mahi is like a main food for marlin. Yeah. And they slash him with the beak, and then they eat him. So I just have a feeling that all these right scars here. happened at the same time. Like even though this one doesn't look very healed, I think. Well, it could have been deeper. Like, yeah, like I think this happened at the same time when he got slashed on that side. Like I think that this was a, a less deep cut 
And this is one that was deeper that healed over, but obviously his body's been exposed the whole time. Like he's got a growth right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually like a worm, like parasite or something in there. Uh -huh, let's We're going to find out. But even then, I think like his jaw was a little messed up initially. I think he was swimming in the water like that because he was coming in all spinning up. It was really weird. Just a very injured mahi, but still living. Let's open up our land shark, of course. And look at my dirty fingers, hands. Skin's a mess right now. That's from gardening, everybody. And fishing. <laughs> it's from the wet and dry cycles my hands go through. No bueno. All right, what do you got Where over here? Hands? All right, so today, using our Smith knives today, we got the six and the eight here. We're gonna be using the six. Let's just dive right into that it. That one says sizzle on it. Yeah, dark sizzle custom knives, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna link it down below if you guys are interested in these knives, super sharp. Hand design, custom made, or make, designed by me. Very exciting. And also want to quickly mention my website. Holidays are coming up really fast. I'm wearing a mahi pendant in honor of this beautiful mahi. We've got a wide variety of nautical pendants on the website. Please check it out if you want to support me. That would be huge. Um, all kinds of awesome stuff you guys would like for the men and women and kids in your life. Friends yeah. and family. Calendars, eight by tens. We got brand new apparel, all kinds of good stuff. All kinds of stuff, guys. So please check it out. I would highly appreciate it. And we're just going to go right down. You saw all that head in this guy's head. I mean, all this meat in this guy's head. I said that backwards. And then we're just going to work it all the way down. And you can see that cut right there, too. He was like swiped right there. Yeah. Cut right through his dorsal. Right here, even, too. He's cut all over. Yeah. Really curious. I mean, more than likely what we said, a marlin, but it's just cool to guess, like, what would have done that to a fish. I don't know. I'm weird like that. Oh. Just like me looking in their bellies. Same thing. Like, I'm going to text this picture of this fish, actually, to our friend that is interested in stuff like this. Going over those rib cage bones. This guy bled out a good bit on the boat, too, so it looks like the meat is nice and white. Looks delicious. Just working my way all the way down here. Biggest fish was the first fish we caught today. Interesting how that works. And then just right up into the head. Look at that beautiful meat, it looks beautiful today. So excited. All right, you see we're just breaking right through those bones. Super awesome knife. Nice, beauty. I'll put him to the side real quick. And then we're just gonna skin it like any other fish. Very simple. I don't like to rip it. I know a lot of you guys like to tell me to rip this stuff, but I prefer not to. It leaves like a weird membrane on the meat and I don't like the taste of it. Now, so we get a question 25 times a day. What do you do with all these fish you catch? So a lot of these fish we catch are the ones we take home at least, because we do a lot of catch and release fishing too, believe it or not. Uh, we, we eat a lot of it, of course. We're very spoiled rotten. We eat fresh fish all the time. Probably like two, three times a week, easy we eat fish. And then the rest is given to my neighbors, mainly my neighbors, and I'm saving some for my family and stuff like that. But yeah, we just hook up the entire neighborhood of people who know me. So they're very lucky. Okay, so you can see we just skin that, and there's that side of them. Let's see if we can see it on this side. It's pretty deep. And it's not there. It didn't go through. That's no, that's there? his stomach. Oh. Yeah, that's right there. It's a pretty deep All cut, right. actually. That was a pretty deep cut for him. All right, we're gonna flip them over and take out the red bloodline. Very simple. Oh, we got something, we got hit the camera with that. I just hit that. the camera with fresh <laughs> mahi meat. What the heck? All right, but that's about it, guys. Just gonna trim it up here and get it into bags. Equal size pieces. Cooks, you wanna make it, leave it, you wanna cut it in equal size pieces, more or less, while the chef can so it cooks evenly, okay, guys? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. This is the barbecue on the boat inshore edition. <laughs> we were gonna cook at home, but today we did our crab traps. And so we decided to just go on the, eat on the boat and have a beautiful date. Got the grill. I'm actually like obsessed with chapstick, if you guys don't know. It's like one of the things that I need like at all times with me is chapstick. I thought it was land shark. No, I'm like addicted to like my, I'm addicted to putting chapstick on. She is addicted to putting chapstick on. We're using it, we got this just screws right on, very simple. So we've had a great successful day of crabbing. Yes, finally got some crabs. Oh, you guys can't even, can't even see me. But I also, too, wonder if you're still watching at this point, want to tell you quickly um, <laughs> that the uh, Miami Boat Show, or no, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show was the other day, and I met a lot of you guys, and a lot of you guys asked about how Megan was doing, my sister. So I'm just going to throw in like a, a really quick update about, Me I'm sorry. about Megan. Here's one. 
um, about Megan and she is doing great. I actually need to speak to her on the phone one of these days really soon, but she's actually like back to traveling. They were like recently in Pennsylvania. They went to my other sister Erin's baby shower in South Carolina a couple weeks ago. And she's just been all over the place doing really well. You can follow her on Instagram, Meg K. Carter, to see how she's doing. She's living her life. Thank you guys for the prayers. Keep praying for her. So we're having tacos today, gentlemen. Ladies. Ladies. Lettuce, cheese, wraps for fat people, salsa, plates, avocado. Using a bait breaker. Hopefully, it's, this knife clean sizzle. You've been cleaning the fish with it. That's the one that has not been used today. Today. So it's semi clean. Let's plant a fish tree. And I just peel these. I don't know how you guys do this. Sometimes people scoop them out. I just peel it like this. Perfect. Yeah, not bad. I made a little bit of a mess. The good thing being on a boat, you can just throw the stuff over the side. It's got a little brown in there. Don't throw things over that are not garbage. Like they, this. They know that. Well, They're not from Florida. I don't know. There's plenty of garbage in the water. Nice. I made a big mess. The other good thing about doing this on the water, you just... I don't know. I feel like at the home, it's the same thing. You just clean your house. Yeah, but now I got salty hands, and, and, and they're extra clean, and I add salt to all my foods. It's wonderful. Perfect. I put salt and pepper on these at home. Darcy doesn't like things spicy, so I didn't like put, like, you know, extra, what do they call blackened or anything like that. She's boring. I am boring. Bland. She does like Cuban food though, being a Miami and third generation. All right, good, look at this, see? See, look at this. I sprayed it with Pam at home. Look at good that. Good job. Awesome, all right. I'm cooking. Woo! Let's have a beer. Give me one. Right here. Thank you. Ooh, that's good. All right, always drink and drive, always boat responsibly. You're having one beer. That's we literally least, all we have on the boat. Yeah, we only have one beer each on the boat. We'll only be here an hour anyway, so we're going to be fine. All right, the camera actually shut off because it was so hot. It's freaking November 1st. Hope you guys had a good Halloween. Turn it over. Nice. Now, we got this grill, and most of the stuff Darcy uses and I use in the kitchen. Darcy, give me my sunglasses. It's yeah, literally you literally can't o'clock. see. Um, you can see on Darcy's Amazon store. Uh, so you can see all that stuff, a lot of our lures and things. And if you wanted to uh, go do all your Christmas shopping and holiday shopping through Darcy's Amazon store, it wouldn't cost you anything extra, but Darcy get a little payback on that. We don't really mention that too much, but that'd be awesome. Just this is exactly nice. about the garbage I'm talking about. Look at this crap. This is drifting by so fast. Oh my God. With the outgoing tide. Like why? You don't stop yelling, you're yelling in my ear. Sorry. <laughs> but why? Like I'm picking up other people's garbage. All right, it really is coming along. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks really good. Yeah. For some reason, like fish and of course land shark taste extra good on the water. <laughs> Everything tastes better on the boat, man. Yeah. Next year, we're going to bring my, one of my fresh pineapples out <sighs> and eat awesome. it. All right, let's put, I'll put these on there. We can get these tortillas heated up. Oh my God, I'm burning up. Uh, now geez. I'm complaining about the heat. It's hot. Like a baby. Whew. All right. Poke these with a fork. And they're done. Nice. So we're ready to go. We gotta heat up our tortillas. You want your chip cheese on yours, Sizzle? Some what? Cheese on your. Che you, you said like tortillas? Is that what you just cheese. said? Cheese. I'm sorry. I'm from New York and I talk really fast and I mumble. Yes. A lot. His words go together a lot. You should have seen when I was a lawyer. No one could hear what I was talking about. Well, they could hear what I was talking about because we're all so loud, but they couldn't understand <laughs> what I was talking about. Perfect. Put this heat up a little just a second. Oh, I just got to cramp my leg sizzles. I'm, and I'm dehydrated. We have no water on the boat. Just beer. No, we have water, plenty of no, water. No, Brian told me to bring, I bring too much water, so now we don't have enough today. <laughs> so funny. She's so, no, the funny part so is she's funny. so spiteful. So funny. Like, she just wants to prove me wrong. I'm not spiteful. So spiteful. I but, would say, you know, I, I try to prepare, and he doesn't like it when I prepare. And then when I'm not prepared, he's upset. Prepared. Listen, so I can't win. Happens. I can't win. We have this big cooler bag, and we bring fish in Not that time. big. And every time I come off the boat, and empty the bag, there's at least 12 extra drinks in there. So every single day of, of the last 1,000 videos, we haul an extra half a case of beverages in and out of now. the boat. And it's, hold on, and it's not 12 ounce beverages, you know, it's these 16 ounce glasses of water and big Gatorades oh, and everything else. Poor baby. That's his only workout. That's why I, that's why oh I bring all God. that. Just saying. She puts like a 90 pound dumbbell in there. I'm like, what are you doing? All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, your camera. You, know, just you didn't you tell me, to, you just said let's go and open it. You know, You're just because you're so beautiful nice. and 20 years younger than me doesn't mean you gotta take advantage of me so, so uh, nice. publicly. 
<laughs> Alright, here you go. Boom! Boom! Let's turn this off before something explodes. Here, lay the fish right here so it doesn't drip all over the boat. Oh, there we go, all yeah. over the marine mat. No, no marine mat was stained in the making of this video. Well, it wouldn't be stained, it'd just make it more work for me to clean. There marine mat stains, actually cleans up great from everything. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> it, it cleans up great. It does clean up better than some other products we've tried, to tell you the truth. Yeah. All right, a little, want some lettuce? Yep. Thank you. I got sweat in my eyes, so I'm like cold, I got one eye closed. Like, I haven't felt, I don't know, I'm gonna stop talking about the heat. Like it, because it's November and they're freezing up dripping there. Dripping down us, yeah. It's like the, I don't, we're I don't having know. like a crazy drought. It's been super dry, super hot. It's 85 degrees today. Are you six? It's terrible. Darcy's gl glistening. Yeah. All right. How much of this you want? This one, mine. Which, which one you want? I don't care. All right, here you go. A little more. Good. This is date night. Holy cow! I'm almost done with my beer. She's from Florida. She drinks beer fast. Quench thirst question. Quenching. She kills a lot of fish, drinks a lot of beer, curses and spits. <laughs> <laughs> Likes the worst football team in the NFL. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm a Jets fan. She's a Miami fan. Let's go. Super good. I'm telling you, food tastes extra better on the boat. So delicious. Really, really good. Now we gotta wait for Brian to finish. I'm done. So until our next adventure. Follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Why did you not talk? You sound like a baby. You're like, follow your dream. <laughs> you see what I mean?